Hey there guys, it's Liga0459 and I'm here today to just uh, show our automated Gelid Cryothium setup we got going on here. Um, let's go ahead and switch back to normal view. Whoops. Um, right here you can see we got our tank. That's about 627, actually it is 627 buckets of Gelid Cryothium. Um, normally it's kind of a pain to get that much, but we figured out a way to make it pretty easy um, to start off. Let's go to the NEI. Um, and Blizz Powder. You can take Blizz Powder and turn it into Cryothium. But in order to do that, you have to get it from either Blizz Rods or Fluid Transposer, Destabilize Redstone, and Snowballs. That's the easiest way to do it, in all honesty, as long as you can find the Snow Biome to do it. Um, we've got two Fluid Transposers here that are constantly fed with destabilized redstone from our giant tank right there which is full of it um, we also have two magma crucibles I think those are both of them that feed into that tank so that we can uh, keep it full whenever we want to um, let's see inside of our ME system we have our snowballs which right now we have 12k I'll show you how we got that here in a second um, after I show you the actual system here now what we have it what I have it doing is underneath here and that one as well there's an interface with the pattern for 16 blizz powders and for one blizz powder um, basically I could tell the ME system hey I want to craft um, I want to craft six blizz powder it is take it'll take its time real quick and just throw those in here oh wow well it definitely threw 16 in there I guess it decided that it didn't want to follow the one blizz powder to one snowball recipe. Uh, oh well, no big deal. But um, yeah, so it'll, it'll do that, and then once the blizz powder is in the system, it's going to wait to be turned into. Oh, where is the? There it is. Uh, it's going to be wait to be turned into cryothium dust. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up the system. So if I say cryothium dust, I want to make two of them. It'll take everything it needs. It's got the pattern for the cryothium dust. It'll take what it needs. It'll craft it and it'll put it in there. Okay, so that's an ex fuzzy export bus from the system. Um, let's go ahead and fill those back in real quick. Don't want to leave holes in my wall. So once it does that, this is on the other side of the base, and so it didn't feel like running wire over here, but you saw that glowing with the cryothium. Let's go in here. It's going to throw it in this chest over here, which then gets pulled out by an item duct and thrown in the magma crucible, which then goes, whoopsie, I got my jetpack on. That is causing me some problems. Um, which is then going to throw it in here. So let's see, I should have some more cryothium dust. Uh, oh no, I should have some more bliss powder. Let's do 10. If it doesn't have Blizz Powder, it'll actually go ahead and do the intermediate and make the Blizz Powder it needs. So there you go. Magma Crucible, fill in the tank. So, but uh, so that's that's a good way, or at least the good way that I found to fill a tank. You don't have to do the, um, sorry, Optifine on the graphical glitches. Um, you don't have to do the Ender Chest. It's that's only really a necessity if you have a uh, a lot of distance between your main system and where you want um, oh, looks like he's going to the nether um, where you want to go but, oh no, he's going out to where? Inlet Bay that 3000 block one out there um, but anyway so, that's a good way to kind of connect the two sides and then, um get that automated now you still have the problem of the snowballs normally so let me show you that let me re-enable the jetpack because we're going to need that okay so over here next to my nuclear base which is not quite done yet by the way I found this awesome taiga that in and of itself is good if I want to manually mine snowballs um that's a lot of work. So instead, I found a pumpkin, made a snow golem, this right here, digging turtle. 
uh, wrote a short little program which I'll actually post the paste bin link to beneath this um, no it's lowercase no gen so what this does is it checks to see if this bottom one is full um, if it's not full then it digs once it gets full it turns to the right drops everything in each of the slots into this ender chest turns back to the left and starts digging again so ends up like that so it'll work on filling this way up it'll turn it'll throw those snowballs in this chest which is connected back at my base to the emmy system with a fuzzy import bus and that will allow me to just basically there's a chunk loader there it'll take its time and like while I'm sleeping or whatever it'll just mine snow so not really a abusing a game mechanic really but uh just kind of taking advantage of a bunch of different parts of the game that all work together to make this possible um oh wait the chest is down below now here we go i moved my ma system recently but yeah it goes to this chest gets pulled into the system and we'll just tick up so but that is our automated system um hopefully that helps somebody else uh, set up their system so that they can uh, make some bigger reactors because um, if you want to make a really good big reactor then uh, you really need a lot of yellow cryothium hopefully you get enough that you can do something like uh, 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 that this is shows it's a uh, 9 by 9 by 5 I think completely filled with yellow cryothium because we have more than enough to be able to fill that there's a uh, nine rods in the middle four on these corners and it's like seventeen thousand rf or something like that so hopefully that helps somebody out um if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below or um message me or post in the thread on reddit but uh see y'all around guys